There's so much construction happening right now in Central Texas, and all that work can affect the environment. Research underway at Texas State University aims to reduce a project's carbon footprint by cutting the amount of pollutants. KXAN's Gary Cooper, Cooper rather, takes a closer look. See those concrete beams? They could be replaced with this. Think of this as a new form of concrete. And Dr. Fred Aguayo from Texas State University and his team made this stuff primarily because... Most would say around 6 to 8% CO2 emissions is usually being produced from the production of concrete alone. So a construction site like I-35 and Posey Road here can have a lasting effect. Concrete's not at all a big contributor to the CO2 emissions. Uh, it's only because of the scale of its use is why we have such a high CO2 emission problem with this material. So the more concrete that is used, the worse it is for the air. The main ingredient for concrete, Portland cement powder, is the stuff that makes concrete rock solid. And its production puts out harmful emissions. Dr. Aguayo is looking to partially replace some of this material in order to reduce CO2 emissions, but as well as in, in, increase the performance of this material. Additionally, it would be faster to dry. TxDOT is working with Dr. Aguayo with this new concrete and told us in part, we also use additive in asphalt to produce the asphalt at a lower temperature, which means less emissions. The research is far from over, but Dr. Aguayo says it looks promising. So hopefully one day construction like this will be less of a pain for everyone, including Mother Nature. In San Marcos, Gary Cooper, KXAN News.